Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I am Beauty and Bounty. Today's video is going to be a review of the April Detox Box. If you aren't familiar with the Detox Box, it's a subscription box from the Detox Market. Um, they are a green, organic boutique out of LA. They also have a website and their subscription box uh, is skincare and beauty. Each month it highlights one brand. Um, you're guaranteed at least $90 worth of product in each box. Most boxes far exceed that. Um, for the detox market, they kind of curate the brands they carry. They have a list of banned ingredients. Um, they have a list of promises for the quality for their products. Um, everything they carry is cruelty free. Um, before we get into the review for this April's box, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. You can click the little subscribe button right here within the video and it won't navigate you away from the page you're watching this on at all. Um, and I will jump right into it. Um, this month's box is from the brand Osea. Um, and just reading off, they always include um, some cards with education on it, on the brand and um, the products. So for this month's box, the brand is Osea and it is an innovative plant-based skincare collection instilled with the healing power of the ocean, formulated with bioavailable seaweed and pure essential oils without toxic ingredients for the most effective solutions. Um, looking around on the products I received and on the um, company's website, it kind of seems like they do really focus on the essential oils. So if you're sensitive to essential oils, this brand's not going to be for you. I, I am not. I really like essential oils in my skincare. Um, and that bioavailable seaweed, they have algae in every, almost all the products I looked at have algae in it. Um, and, and algae's benefits for the skin is that it's, it's conditioning, it's soothing, it's hydrating, and it's also uh, high in antioxidants. So that's something that's like anti-aging. So in this month's box, we got three products, a cleanser, an oil, and a moisturizer, which I think is a really good range to get to know a brand. So that's cool. So that's cool. Uh, the first one is the Osea Ocean Cleanser, and this is a cream cleanser. Um, it is described as the seaweed cleansing gel formulated with natural and organic ingredients, removes surface impurities and excess oils. Lime, cypress, and juniper oils leave the skin feeling energized. Organic algae provides mineral rich hydration, gently removes makeup. Ooh, actually, and so on the product card, it says that there's uh, vegan lactic acid, lightly exfoliates, organic seaweed, deep dehydrates, and cypress and juniper oils prevent blemishes for fresh, healthy skin. That's pretty cool that there's vegan lactic acid in this guy. So I've been using all these products morning and night for three or four days now. Um, and first of all, the smell. They, they smell so fantastic. They smell like, I think the brand is Mineral Bath. I don't know. They, you can smell the lemon in them. You can smell, um, a lot of them have cedar in them. They're, they're very earthy and minerally is the only way I can describe it and um citrus um but the downside of that citrus so the first day I used this what happened to be like the previous night I had micro needled and kind of overworked my skin not in a bad way um and so then the first time I used this was that following night and I think just because my skin was sensitized and a little overworked the lemon and the citrus in here I think there's lemon and grapefruit let's see algae sesame oil jojoba oil clay lime orange blah 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 so the lime and the orange I think it's the citrus in here it was just too rough on my skin um, so I think if you're really dry and really sensitized I think those citrus oils might give your skin a run for its money but after that first night um, 
it was fine. I never had any other problems. Um, I, I like it. It cleans really well, but your skin feels very hydrated afterwards, um, very plump, and my geese are going insane outside, so ignore them. Um, so I, I like that. I just would be wary if you have very sensitive skin or really dry, irritated skin. That might be too much of it. Next we'll go through is the um, Osea Essential Hydrating Oil, and it's a dewy blend of jojoba, macadamia, and sesame seed oils and restores a radiant glow, while extracts of lavender and geranium balance and uplift with their sweet scent. Um, it also has cedar, it also has lemon, it also has uh, clary sage, rosewood, vitamin E, and chamomile. Oh, and bergamot. Um, so this is kind of like a super packed ingredient because lavender oil is good for like irritations or if you have any like broken skin, it can help soothe that. Um, cypress is a good astringent. Juniper can help he speed up healing time. Um, geranium balances oil production. Looking at this, when I read through the ingredients, lemon is brightening all over the place, Liz. Lemon is brightening. It's also photosensitizing, so be sure to use sunscreen, though you should already be using sunscreen. Looking through the ingredients of this, um, you know, bergamot I really like in my skincare, but cedar I don't think I've ever had in my skincare. Rosewood I like in my skincare, clary sage I like, vitamin E is good for healing. That's kind of like a power packed oil. So I thought that was very cool and I've used it a couple times. It's not greasy. It absorbs well. It's nice. The final thing is the atmospheric protection cream and it is described as a weightless moisturizer and barrier protection. Uh, it's described as um, a weightless moisturizer provides barrier protection and it's infused with vitamin rich algae and sinks into the skin firms, hydrates, and protects from environmental stressors. And this guy has the macadamia oil, it has the algae, it has um, shea butter, jojoba oil, avocado oil, vitamin E, amino acids from plants, lavender geranium. Amino acids from plants reminds me that this brand is vegan and cruelty free. Probably should have mentioned that at the top. Well, anyway. Um, this is, uh, it's nice. I'm dry to dehydrated. And this is a very thin moisturizer. It smells amazing. Um, it does feel nice on the skin. Like, so when I first pumped some out and I saw that it was, it was really thin, I was like, oh, this is not going to be enough for me. But I wanted to give it a the good college try. So I've been using it every day for a few days, morning and night. Um, so that first time when I saw it and I was like, this is just not going to be enough for me. And I put it on my face and I was like, Ooh, actually it might be my thin, my skin felt, uh, plump and my skin felt smooth and makeup goes on really well over it, but kind of like as the day goes on or when I woke up in the morning, I was dry. So for me, this didn't provide enough hydration. I'm going to pass it along to a friend. Um, but I prefer thick, rich moisturizers. I like the belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, I like Clinique Moisture Surge, I like Jane Scrivener Over Oil Cream, so I prefer something that's thick, a little occlusive, um, like I like to feel my moisturizer when I'm washing my face in the morning. But um, I think if you're, you know, normal to oily or if you're not as dry and dehydrated as me, this, this could be good because it did feel really nice to begin with. It just didn't give me the extended, um, like, hydration that I really look for. Wow, that was a whirlwind of a review. One thing I did want to touch on was last month's box, so now that I've had a month to play with things, just I think I'm going to at the end of these videos be like, hey, here's an update on last month's box. So last month's box was from Hint Beauty, and there was a setting powder and a makeup sponge and an SPF. The makeup sponge I didn't like, and I honestly, I haven't continued to try it because it just, it wasn't for me, which is fine. Um, the setting powder I still really like, but the more I play with it, the more, um, it's too much for my under eyes. It's too heavy. It kind of 
weighs them down. It's not brightening. Um, so I stopped using it under my under eyes, but I do use it on my face when I use powder. So I'll set my foundation with this and it's very, uh, kind of an airbrush. It's really finely milled. So it gives a nice airbrush effect and sets it down. Um, so I've still been using this and loving this and the skin prep I've still been using and loving as well. Um, it looks really great under makeup. It's SPF 25. It's a little, it's a little illuminating. Um, I did mention in last month's video that it was heavily scented and the brand reached out to me and said, you know, there's no fragrance in it. The scent comes from the ingredients. So I made sure to include that in last month's video. Um, and there is no fragrance in it. It still has a really heavy scent. I've gotten used to it. I kind of like it. I think it's kind of childlike. It's like a, a sweet watermelon is what it smells like to me. But I still think regardless of where the scent comes from, if you are sensitive to scents, it's not going to be for you. It's, it's very strong. Um, so I just wanted to touch on last month's box and give you guys an update. And then I'll do the same thing with these products next month. Though probably not with the moisturizer because I think I am just, I think I'm going to give that to a friend because I don't think I'm going to get much use out of it. It's, it's just not what I look for in a moisturizer. Um, let's see, one final thing. So the value of this month's box was $160 with the cleanser, oil, and moisturizer. So that's pretty cool. Um, I will go ahead and link the detox market below because you can buy all of these things piecemeal and sometimes I think it's getting more popular um, but I tried to get this video up quickly but I don't want to get it up too quickly so I couldn't have like an actual opinion on the products um, but sometimes the boxes are still available after the initial shipping they'll have a few extras um, and so you can subscribe and still get this month's box sometimes but I'll leave the link down below so you can check them out. Um, I think that is it. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Liz. I am Beauty and Bounty. Um, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. It will help other people find me as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can find me on my website at beautyandbountyblog.com. I am Beauty and Bounty everywhere on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Vero, and Reddit, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!